that's all we've got for you, right, Nix? Time to itch. Okay, that was good timing. Hi guys, Kat here from Standing Stone and I have my old buddy, Nixer with me. He is such an important dog to me. He's one of the first dogs that I trained all the way through and because he's so important to me, it's important that I take care of him in his senior days as well. He's almost nine years old, which his dad, who we lovingly refer to as Grandpa Rex, is almost 15. So I would absolutely love if Nix was in good health, at least till 15 or older. So I wanna to talk to you about some of the things that we do to help keep our old dogs young. One of those is diet. Not only the right amount of food, but the right kind of food for your senior dog. So we wanna keep them in good shape and not overweight because those extra pounds can really do a number on their joints and make them really um, break down as they get older. So getting a food that's properly formulated for an older dog with a slower metabolism so you can feed the proper amount of food, which is gonna be different than what they were eating as young puppies, and still getting the proper amount of nutrients and vitamins and minerals that they need for proper health. So diet's really important. Then, the other thing that's really important is exercise. Both physical exercise and mental exercise. Things that we talk about in dog training all the time. So, physical exercise, like going for walks, right buddy? And things like roading, going for free runs, running through the grass, swimming, all of those things, playing fetch, working out, so that they can in good shape prior to hunting season so that they don't get out there and get really sore the first time that you take them out hunting is really important. Mental exercise is also important. We need to keep these old dogs' minds sharp. We don't want them to get bored, which can lead to destructive behavior. So things like teaching an old dog new tricks or maybe even revisiting an older training session, something your dog hasn't been asked to do in a while. Those are great options, as well as finding new and exciting toys for them to play with and explore. Nick's got to play with a new food finding maze and he absolutely loved it, he rocked it. He's such a smart dog, mama's proud. And then also routine veterinary care. Just because they're getting older doesn't mean we need to stop going to the vet. It probably means we need to go to the vet even more often. So veterinary care as far as vaccinations, keeping him up to date on shots, heartworm preventative, flea and tick preventative, keep him wormed, all those things like normal as well as keeping an eye on him for getting extra sore or having an extra, any extra lumps or things that need to be looked at is really important. And then lastly, I'm just gonna throw this one out there because who doesn't love puppies is let's talk about young dogs helping keep your old dogs young. So a puppy companion that your older dog can want to play with, run around with and keep up with will keep them active and engaged. That's all we've got for you, right, Nix? That's right, buddy.